Hello, I'm Keith, and this is my dad, Kerwin, and my brother, Maceo. Welcome back to Father and Son of Star Wars Podcast. Thank you for joining us. We are back for another adventure of Storytime with Maceo. This Today time, we'll be reading Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back as a little boy. All right. So well, let's go. Let's begin. Star Wars the Empire Strikes Back, adapted by Geoff Smith, illustrated by Chris Kenneth. Like the Maceo. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It's a dangerous time for the Rebel Alliance. After destroying the Death Star, they're on the run from the evil Imperial forces. Princess Leia has led the Rebels to a secret base on Hoth, a snowy ice planet. Luke Skywalker rides his tauntaun across the frozen wasteland on the lookout for bad guys. An angry snow creature called the Wampa attacks. Luke fights the beast with his lightsaber. As he escapes, Luke has a vision of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan tells him to go to the planet Dagobah and find a great Jedi master named Yoda. Not far from the base, Han Solo and Chewbacca spot an Imperial probe droid hunting for the rebels. Boom! Han shoots the droid with his blaster. The droid is destroyed, but Han knows and signal the Empire with the location of their hideout. Their Imperial forces have found the rebel base! Thump, thump, thump. Their giant Adat walker can march across the snow. Zoom! Rebel snow speeders fight the hulking machines. Lasers have no effect, but Luke trips an Adat with his speeders choking. Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and C-3PO race to the Millennium Falcon, but the ship won't start. Would it help if I got out and pushed? Leia asked. Luckily, the Falcon zooms away just as Darth Vader and his stormtroopers override the base. Luke and R2 escape, too. They set off on the planet Dagobah and crash land in the swamp. Luke finds Yoda and asks the powerful Jedi Master to train him in the ways of the Force. Luke's training is difficult. He runs and jumps and swings on vines, all with Yoda on his back. Suddenly, Luke's X-Wing fighter begins sinking into the swamp. He's, he tries to raise it with the power of the Force, but can't. It's too big. Yoda is disappointed. The little green Jedi Master closes his eyes, points his claw, and he <sighs> raises Luke's X-Wing yeah, using the Force. Sorry, he's about to shot, Yoda says. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Millennium Falcon is being chased by Imperial Star Destroyers. Han Solo has a plan to escape. He flies into an asteroid field. They'd be crazy to follow us, Han said. The giant Imperial Star Destroyers can't follow the Millennium Falcon. A small TIE fighters can't. They swoop, they swerve, and finally crash into a flying object. The Falcon hides in an asteroid. Strange creatures attack the ship. The Millennium Falcon escapes before it is eaten by a giant space slug. Determined to catch the rebels, Darth Vader hires the bounty hunters to find them. The bounty hunters are a cruel and dangerous bunch. The most dreaded hunter is the ruthless Boba Fett. Oh, yeah. On Solo flies the Millennium Falcon to the city, to the cloud city of Bespin. He hopes his old friend Lando Calrissian can help him. Han doesn't know, but that they are being followed by Boba Fett. Lando gives Han and his friends a warm welcome, but something isn't right. Darth Vader and Boba Fett are waiting for them. Across the galaxy on Dagobah, Luke feels a disturbance in the Force. He knows Han Solo and Chris Slayer are in trouble. Yoda tells Luke that he's not ready to face Darth Vader alone, but Luke knows he must help his friends. Back on Vespa, Han Solo's frozen carbonite. <laughs> Boba Fett claims his prize as Darth Vader sets a trap for Luke Skywalker. Luke arrives on Vespa and faces Darth Vader. Zooms. Their 
lights here will sizzle as the battle begins. The Dark Lord wants Luke to join the Empire and the dark side of the force. Never! Luke cries. Before defeating the young Jedi, Darth Vader reveals a terrible secret. He leaps into a deep tunnel and falls down, 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 and out of the Bespin. Luke clings to a weather vane underneath Bespin. He uses the force to call the Princess Leia for help. Meanwhile, Lando helps Leia, Chewbacca, and the droids make a daring escape on the Millennium Falcon. They quickly save Luke and flee the Cloud City. Luke and his friends rejoin the river. Safe for now, but they know they must have. They must save my soul from Boba Fett and defeat the evil Darth Vader. Vader. The end. Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back. Little Golden Book. Did you think of that, Mace? Did you enjoy that one? Yes? No? No, nope, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where can people find us, Keith? Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Radio Public, Amazon Music, Audible, or wherever you get your podcasts. Yes. We also have a YouTube channel, and we have a lot of socials: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of us and Galaxy. And we are very excited to announce our Patreon page that will be coming soon to you. Okay, It's uh, already out now, but we haven't uploaded content yet. Okay. So content's coming soon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. And remember, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And when you do, mm. we're doing a 500 first subscriber race. Yes. So if you're a 501st subscriber, you will win. A limited edition celebration exclusive Bad Batch season two poster. All right. So, 501st subscriber. Okay. Thank you once again. We are very close to finishing up the original trilogy. Next up, we'll be Return of the Jedi. We hope you'll join us for that. So, until next time, take care and we will see you again. Say bye bye, Macy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.